Most people in the public think of us as being the individuals who might be in the laboratory doing the testing, but most believe that the physicians are performing the testing, and it's not, it's us that are doing it, and we're a vital aspect of their general health care. Statistics have identified 85% of a patient's diagnosis is based on the results that we provide. A medical laboratory technologist is the individual that works in the laboratory, that processes the samples, collects the samples, um, determines the validity of the samples for testing, performs the testing, and provides the results to the physicians or clinicians for diagnosis, treatment, or monitoring of disease. We have the capacity to test for, I believe it's between 150 to 170 actual antigens that could be present on any of these test slides. Um, so we can provide diagnostic material to the pathologist who will then report to the attending physician and hopefully assess what's happening in that patient's system at that point in time. Uh, let's say uh, someone had a fire at home and usually in case of fire they send them to the hospital to check their carbon level. So they do uh, collect a car uh, carbon, uh, carbon monoxide on them, on them, so which is a Venus sample, looks like this one. And we do test the carbon monoxide on that patient to see what's the level, what's the percentage of carbon in their blood. There are 7,200 currently in Ontario um, that are practicing MLTs, licensed on, under the uh, CMLTO, so College of Medical Laboratory Technologists of Ontario. So we work together as an integrated laboratory so that we can provide the whole community with the best service possible. Here I believe like 20 or so different antigens on blood is just different components that are on red cells that are way above and beyond the ABO and RH of a patient's blood type. So during a cross match we take the patient's plasma against all of these known antigens on a cell and it's kind of like a puzzle trying to figure out what might be causing a reaction. We release the case and then hold the specimens for a specific number of weeks just in case we need to go back into that specimen. We obviously don't want to dispose of it beforehand or take any risks. And um, when the specimen is disposed though we still have the slides and we still keep the cassettes as well. Um, that varies from a number of years based on the patient's age. Mom come to the floor to deliver and they're not sure if she's ready or yet. So instead of sending her home and she's already like, she's ready to have the baby, they do this test and like this is a very expensive test. It does check for a certain protein level. If the placenta rupture, it does release certain type of protein which is detected by this kit. My name is Jan Maxwell and I'm the program coordinator for the Medical Laboratory Science Program at St. Clair College. It's a three-year advanced diploma program and the graduates from this program um, have the ability to, to um, apply for the certification exam. Success on the exam is to apply for their license and be willing and ready to practice in the province of Ontario and the rest of Canada. Yeah, it's a really cool profession. It's very interesting. I love it. It's very exciting. Every day something you see something new. Uh, it's a little stressful, but it's worth it. Like. So there is every there's little pieces of biology that I really enjoyed, and chemistry, and physics, and a lot of. I think my interest just branched over a lot of areas and when I started looking into it, this was the profession that appealed to me the most. It just takes a lot of dedication and a lot of hard work and it's very rewarding and I feel very fulfilled being in this profession. I feel like I actually make a difference and save lives doing what I do.